she was just a great fun girl um yeah just lovely to be around we just adored her <laughs> yeah lovely girl the volcano has been erupting moderate waves since about november december last year <laughs> But this eruption on Saturday afternoon took people quite by surprise. On Friday the 14th of January 2022, an underwater volcano started to erupt off the islands of Tonga. There is much we don't know, but there are fears Tonga is facing significant damage. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano then erupted explosively on Saturday. It's about 40 miles offshore of the Tongan capital, Nuku Alofa. The eruption, which was heard as far away as the US, caused metre-high tsunami waves to crash into Tonga. Satellite imagery shows the potential for major damage, and more than 10,000 kilometres away, two people drowned off a beach in northern Peru amid abnormally high waves. She would walk into a room and just lighten the room up, and she loved her life. 50-year-old Angela Glover from Brighton, who lived on Tonga, has been confirmed dead. Her brother says her body was found during a search organised by her husband. James had, uh, there had been a search party that had been going on, and I believe James, but I'm not too sure, but I believe James found the body and it was in some bushes. I, I, the words can't, I can't even got, I haven't got the words in my vocabulary to even describe how we're feeling. A key reason behind the lack of information is communicating with Tonga has been extremely difficult. There's no internet and limited phone calls because the fibre optic cable that connects it with the rest of the world was severed in the tsunami. The company that operates it says it will be weeks before it's back up again. All 105,000 residents of the island are virtually uncontactable and has made official reports of casualties virtually impossible. My the Red Cross estimates that up to 80,000 people may have been affected by the tsunami. The dust from the volcano could contaminate water supplies, with locals advised to drink bottled water and wear masks. Australia and New Zealand have both sent surveillance flights to the island and have promised relief support as soon as it is safe to do so. A clear indication that has come from Tonga is the need for water. The ash cloud has, as you can imagine, caused contamination. That's on top of already a challenging environment in terms of water uh, supply, and so that's what the Defence Force are very focused on. This isn't the first time the volcano has erupted in modern times. Events in 2014 and 2015 created an entire new island and disrupted air travel for several days. Things that we as aid agencies will be looking at is those freshwater needs that also, of course, impact on health and hygiene. We don't want to have a secondary disaster of waterborne diseases or um, other health impacts. So that is definitely a key area uh, in terms of the, the response. This is just a terrible shock um, that's happened to us. You know, we're, we're ordinary people. Stuff like this just doesn't happen to people like us, but then it does.